and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Wednesday the 9th of February. The local media headlines today. And today's the day Cornwall councillors finally throw in the towel and agree that they've got no choice but to increase the cost of crossing the River Tamar by 30%. Six months ago they rejected the increase but now the council's ruling cabinet is going to agree it's got no choice. The trouble with big bridges is that if you don't look after them, they fall down. The question is, who should pay? And for 60 years, the answer has been the people who use them. Despite all the promises of a joined-up approach between Conservatives in Cornwall and those in government, the government is still refusing to help. Another iconic landmark in need of tender loving care is Port Isaac Harbour, very much a case of, as seen on TV. St Austell and Newquay MP Steve Double has again set out his thoughts about a mayor for Cornwall. He says it's not about personalities. There are hopes that the small outdoor White House pool at Foy might be brought back into use. And it's with great sadness that I report the death of my friend and former colleague Chris Rogers, who for decades was the calm voice of reason in southwest political journalism. The BBC was among those to cover the hurling of the silver ball in St Ives. It's one of those weird things that goes on in some rural communities, their origin and significance lost in the mists of time, and these days more for the amusement of tourists. Pirate FM kept an eye on the latest Covid stats, which have been little changed in recent days. The Falmouth packet anticipates another large housing development near Penzance. The Cornish Times looks forward to an auction of historic postcards. And finally, Cornwall Live has some suggested recipes for Valentine's Day. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.